Hi graduates, it's Stella from Meeple University and this is Stella's short and sweet preview for familiars and foes from Horrible Adorables. Our good witches and wizards have been imprisoned by the evil foes. I'm just a familiar. Hmm. What to do? What to do? Aha! Let's work together, fellow familiars, to defeat the foes and save our masters. The game plays 1 to 5 players with mechanics such as dust rolling, cooperative and variable player powers. The game is of light complexity. Familiars and Foes is a family game where you are familiars, cooperatively working with other players, attacking ways of evil foes while upgrading your spells so you can free your witches and wizards. There are four waves of foes that you need to attack to win the game. You each start with full health and magic and on your turn, you pick one of your spells or physical attack, then roll a d20 and see if you are successful. One of the spells is to summon the toad. Cost one magic point, must roll 3 or higher to do 1 damage. Yes, yes, familiar can have familiar too, you know. You summon me? Yes, yes, Toady. Uh, yeah. You can heal each other, or use an artifact, or use your own special ability, or do belly hoo to combo with other players' basic spells out of turn. And most importantly, you are trying to tick off everything on your list as part as your familiar studies so you can flip and upgrade the advanced spell side. Now you are the next level of Nutterson the third. After you do your turn, it goes to the next players until it's the foe's turn. Roll a d20 for the foe to attack back and apply the result. Each familiar has to suffer the damage. Then turn goes back to all players again, one at a time, till hopefully this foe is defeated and we move to the next wave. New foes appear, your magic points are reset, and you get to release some witches and wizards. Ooh, ooh, is it mine? Yes, it's mine! Akasha is released! Now in this next wave, I get to use her special rescue bonus. The game continues till all familiars are defeated, which means all players lose. That's sad. Or when all foes are defeated, woo! -hoo! And all witches and wizards are freed, means you are the best bunch of familiars ever and win. You want to try to tick off your list, learn the way of the familiar as soon as you can. Because the advanced spells are better and have the revival spell. If your familiar friend has fallen, you can bring them back to life with it. But be careful, some basic and advanced spells have penalties. They could backfire on you if you don't roll high enough. You are still the familiar after all, still have things to learn. Each familiar also has their own special alignment that is strong against certain type of foes like Nutterson the Third with Ether Element, they could hurt Nephilim here with easier requirements. Familia and Foes has many enemies to choose from to bring to life different horrible but adorable creatures and different difficulty levels. Speaking about HorribleAdorables.com, that is the designer's art shop where you can find some of these creatures brought to life in the form of cute toys, wearables and other fancy stuff. So thanks for watching folks, check out Familiars and Foes project page, I'll put the link in the description below. The components featured in this video are prototype, so rules and artwork are not final. You would help us by like the video, subscribe and hit the bell, and comments below if you find this video useful. I also share my board game's journey on Instagram, hopefully I will see you there too, see you next time!